Hey, hello there, and a very, very good evening. It's Tuesday, it's 8 o'clock. That means, of course, the Planet Cruise TV show. I can honestly say, and I mean this to all the regulars watching, I think we have got the best show this year. The most amazing deals. We've even got cruises, seven-night cruises. Hang on, look at this, that's true. Yeah, with P&O, under £400. We've got some great river cruises with no single supplements. We've got a pound deposit tonight as well on many of the cruises. And also, don't forget, if you are um, booking any river or luxury cruise, you will get a £100 cash back as well. That finishes um, at the end of this month, so just a couple of days left to get that. And there's another free gift tonight. Justin is going to tell us all about it. Oh, You're miming well, it in the back. Hello, no, mate. I, th I thought you were going to do the rest of the show then. <laughs> How are you? I was stealing his thunder, you could tell. Um, what's... Talk, yeah, talking of thunder and lightning, it's been terrible weather, isn't it? I know. Well, we're going to take them away, aren't we? To, exactly. To silly destination. There's just... never been a better time to book a cruise and get out of the UK because the weather's been shocking. It's been a bit mixed, hasn't <laughs> it? Now, what's the freebie that we've got tonight? Yes, well, with certain cruises, terms and conditions apply as always, but we've got a fantastic off offer where you can get an Amazon Echo Dot so you can ask all the information off wow. the little uh, and the is microphone And that with speaker. any booking where the individual passenger pays over 999 is that right? You've read the notes. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> great, yes. <laughs> yeah, and to be, to be fair, there is a lot of the offers tonight. This is definitely the time it's, to book because a lot of the offers are ending on the 31st of May, yeah. so you've just got a couple of days to do I'm it. Just okay, I, we honestly both said we think it's even better than, than the sales shows in January. We've got a Morella all inclusive over to the Far East. Do you, know I, do you know what I like about tonight's show? It's got so much variety because we've got, if you've ever wanted wanted to go to Iceland yeah. and some of the Northern Isles up around Scotland and Kirkwall. We've got a fantastic cruise at the end there. As you mentioned, the, the one with no supplements from Manchester uh, and Birmingham, I think it was. We'll go through that a little bit um, later on. I'm and looking at, Q, you've got one with Cunard, yeah. Queen Elizabeth 859, and that's the Canaries, 12 nights in December. That one's amazing. Yeah. And, in fact, for those of you, I think, how's it, how long have I been down doing the show? Something like, is it two years? Oh, longer than that. Or is it about five minutes? I'm feel, not too sure. Feel, feels um, forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back. No, you can do the Iceland one on your own. <laughs> no. no, I don't want to do the Iceland one. I can't pronounce the places. Yestefjorda. I'll, I'll do the Canaries. Yestefjorda. Yestefjorda. Eistejorda. Eistejorda. There you go. See, All right, you can go there. No, 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 no. In, in, in two years, all joking aside, because we've got a crack on, we've got so much to get through. In the last couple of years that I've been presenting with this wonderful man, um, uh, and this fantastic cameraman over here. I can't remember his name, but he's been fantastic. He's always had me in focus. Um, we have a, a first for me, a first, a Disney cruise. We do. A Dis we have, do. You, have you ever wanted to go across to Disneyland? Have you ever, or perhaps you've done Disneyland, you can now do it on a cruise line, and it's the first time we've actually brought it, so really looking forward to it on the Disney magic. So, um, so we, we're honestly the best show we think we've had this year. Uh, got everything for you, but... We also would love you to come to our cruise holiday show. Uh, now, this is going to be at the Annex Stadium Brighton. Keith's going to be there. Um, many of you will remember Keith. Glenn's going to be there as well. And to get um, you know, registered, all you need to do is go to planetcruise.com forward slash en. So do do that. It's a brilliant show. I've been there many times. It's fantastic. And, and you're, you're going to this one? Do you know? I no? Would, I, you I, would be. I've got a really good reason why I'm not there. Well, it's not your day off, is it? I'm on a cruise. No. Yes. And I'm in the south of France. Yes. So I've got a good excuse, but um, I, I know the uh, the two guys will be really looking after you. But we're going to start. We've got this is going to fly. Ready for this? Yes. P and O. Just move, seven just, nights. Just move a little bit that way. Move a little bit that way. Oh. Oceana. It's there. That your, was one of the that, first cruise ships that I actually I was went on. Say, your ship. Yes. Um, yeah. no, well, not quite. It was Neil Oliver's. No. Um, <laughs> now. Even all those years ago, would yep. you ever get a cruise, seven nights, 395? No. That is amazing, isn't no. it? No. And I, I've got to point out that when you say 395, it works out at £57 per person per night. When you break it down wow. to that, again, you just think that is phenomenal. And, you know, great cruise line. You know, it's a British cruise line that everybody, a lot of you perhaps have uh, been on before. But the ship is fantastic. And she's been updated over the years. So, uh, And a yeah. pound deposit. Time. So honestly, this one, this is going to really light up the phones. Uh, 3rd of January, when it's all miserable and horrible, get away and just enjoy this fabulous cruise. But let's take you on board. From the moment you step on board Oceana, you know you're in for an outstanding experience. Oceana has a distinctive style and character that makes them one of the best-loved mid-sized family ships. With lots of deck space, there's an open, luxurious, airy feel to life on board. 
She's the perfect ship for enjoying outdoor activities and relaxation in the sunshine. Her impressive four-decked high atrium reveals a contemporary ship with a glass elevator, stained glass ceiling, sweeping marble staircase and trickling water features, adding to just that little bit of touch of elegance. More than 600 of the 975 cabins have outside views and 450 have balconies, which score highly for privacy with solid partitions each side and above. You can upgrade to a suite experience, giving you the personal haven to retreat, relax, indulge and of course entertain. And when it comes to dining, Oceana has the whole family covered with the elegant dining in Laguarian and Adriatic main restaurants and Café Jardin, an exceptional Italian and Mediterranean restaurant with great views. No matter what time of the day it is, if you fancy a good meal, you'll always get one on board Oceana. The self-service buffet offers high quality dining throughout the day and a relaxed, informal environment. Some great entertainment is provided in the Footlights Theatre, where you can enjoy a cinematic experience by day and western style musical extravaganzas by night. You can enjoy the cocktail and club vibes in the club, spinning up-to-date tunes on the latest sound equipment. But my favourite place is here at the Winners Club, where you can enjoy a nice cold beer whilst watching the football. Children can make new friends at the Reef, the supervised children's club with a range of entertainment that has been specifically designed to appeal to different age groups. Their very own Reef Rangers have extensive experience in planning and facilitating activities for all age ranges. And only a pound deposit to book it tonight. So yep. we'll quickly talk to you from Southampton, of course. Yeah, fantastic. For those of you that don't like flying or can't fly, then great, this South Southampton. And we're over to Rotterdam. I mean, it could be anywhere, it could be Rome. But anyway, um, you can go and see The Hague, you can go and see Van Gogh's Museum as well, uh, and also the Royal Palace is definitely one to, uh, to go and see. It's actually quite a rare port on the itineraries. I, I was only there for a couple of times over six years. Um, then we're off to Zeebrugge, where you can go to Bruges. Now, um, I love the music, by the way. I very, do, don't you? Very Parisian, we're going there later. Uh, the Old Town Square is fantastic. You've got to go on a canal barge, and uh, anything and everything. There's 125 breweries in this uh, locality, so you can try some of the local delicacies. And uh, they like the chocolate over there as well, so uh, definitely go and try some of that. If you want to go a little bit further afield, um, you can actually go to some of the, uh, the commemorative fields of World War I. So uh, for those of you who like your history, you can do that. Then we're off to Le Havre after a nice relaxing day at sea, where you can enjoy the facilities on the, on the ship, go up to the spa perhaps, do some of the deck quotes and shuffleboard. Uh, but then Paris, Gay Paris, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, the Champs-Élysées, um, as, you, as, as you do. <laughs> I've never been to Paris. No. Never been to Paris. Travelled the world doing doing cruise and, and stuff and, and never been to Paris. You should book this. It's anything for yeah. five pounds. Exactly. Uh, Do, you then, <laughs> Do you want to go? We, 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 uh, I can't uh, have time off in January. Busiest time of the year for the cruising street. Then we're off to Cherbourg. Now, well, Romans, Vikings, Saxons, Normans, they've had it all. Um, there is fantastic history in Cherbourg, um, particularly um, St Michael's Abbey. Absolutely fantastic. You've got the, uh, the Benedictine Order there as well, uh, the church and the cloister, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, and again, this is one of the best places. If you want to do some of the commemorative stuff with Utah Beach or Omaha Beach uh, for the Second World War, then that is a great opportunity. But uh, yeah, we're finishing in Sherbrooke and then back and to then Southampton. Back Southampton. Um, it's the most unbelievable offer. I cannot remember the last time that we had P&O for 395. Let's just show you what's included. Do get on the phone lines tonight for this one because... We think it is going to be one of the top sellers. A pound deposit is all you need to find. Um, the outside, you can get that for just £14 per person per night. The balcony from under £30 per person per night as well. Uh, and don't forget, you can also stay uh, the night before in the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. That will give you breakfast and parking and your transfers as well. But a pound deposit, I know. that is just phenomenal. A £2 for a couple. Yes. Um, now... One of my two favourite words on any cruise? All inclusive. Oh, yes. That I know him well. I know him well. That should be my title. I should have said adult only, but I didn't want to have any, any <laughs> undertones or connotations. Actually, we have got some adult only cruises. <laughs> <laughs> this one. This, yeah, this one is actually, yeah. This is adult only and it's all inclusive. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, anyway. But honestly, we we are delighted uh, to have this on tonight's show from Morella, and it's on board the Morella Discovery. Let's have a little look. Now, um, beautiful ships, great yeah, ships. And, and for those for those of you who know your cruise ships, of course, it's a familiar outline because uh, what Morella are doing, uh, or Thompson uh, are doing, is uh, is taking older ships, they're refitting them, and just g keeping that same great feel, smaller ship 
feel. Um, if you're one of these people that don't like thousands and thousands of passengers, uh, then this is going to be perfect for you. She's only 69,000 tonnes and maximum, maximum capacity is just over 2,000 passengers. So look, it's sort of mid-size ship then. Mid-size yeah, ship and she's got the rock climbing wall, she's got the, um, uh, the pitch and putt as well, great outdoor spaces. Uh, as well. So, is she a uh, formal World Caribbean ship? Yes, she Thought is. She, yeah. Well done. Well spotted there. But with all the modern facilities, so you've got rock climbing walls, nine half mini golf, uh, ocean spa, you've got the, uh, the outside poolside uh, movie screen, easy for me to say, and some fantastic um, uh, food as well. So you've got Coral R, sushi, surf and turf steakhouse, the glass house, which is tapas style as well. Love a bit of tapas. Um, and the snack shack as well. So uh, oh. some of them supplements do apply, but again, when you're actually looking to, to see how much it actually costs, very uh, reasonable. I mean, we said bear in mind your way for over two weeks, all inclusive. Mm. So that's fabulous extra drinks, all of your tips. It's yeah, it's where you're going. And to, and to yeah. be fair, this is, this is a really interesting itinerary that they've, they've put together. So there's some really big ports like Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. So you've got some, some big places yeah. to sort of build up to. And these, these are ports that we don't normally see. When exactly. Yeah. And, and so well, you don't really, usually see them together on, no. the, on the same itinerary really as well. So uh, I don't know. Should, should, should we go there? I think we should. Let's go there. Let's go to Langkawi. Have you ever been to Langkawi? Um, I have actually, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the most peaceful. Well, what did you think of it? Beautiful. Yeah. Really yeah. quite. Did you go on the on the hanging bridge? No. No? Did you go on the beach? Yes, that's why I did. Did you? Was, I bet, yeah. I bet he was hanging on the beach as I, well. I was. <laughs> Dear uh, me, yeah. I was a bit lazy, actually. I didn't do too much. Look, this, <laughs> this is the great thing. And what I was yeah. saying about the, the, the contrast of ports is Langkawi is very, very laid back. It's it's very it's a completely different pace of life before you get to the, the, the larger ports and the, the busy cities as they I say. Mean, but just been very tranquil. Mm. But definitely go, you, you saw Eagle Square there, which is the prominent landmark. You've got the um, uh, cable car, and definitely um, one thing I'd recommend doing is going on the river mangrove cruise because you can go through on the, the little um, canoes and you can paddle oh, through. Wow. It's like as if you're in an Indiana Jones movie or something like that. So uh, really like that one. Then we're off to Penang. Now, Penang itself, uh, again, fantastic island, and this, this particular uh, island itself has got a wonderful, wonderful history to it. So there's plenty to see and do. For those of you that like your flowers and your fauna, you're going to absolutely love this island. Uh, the actual um, uh, temples themselves are fantastic. There's also a butterfly farm as well, so if you do like something a little bit different, um, uh, then go and do that. Then we're into our next big port of call. You're actually into a place called Port Klang, which is for Kuala Lumpur. Now, it's a, it is uh, around 45 minute, around an hour from memory, um, in, but you can see there the Petronas Towers. And uh, there's the Sky Bridge. And the Sky Bridge there, it's one of the most unique structures um, in the world, quite literally. I'm not exaggerating on that one. Um, there's, there's some lovely temples out there. And from memory, the hawker markets that you usually talk about in Singapore. I was uh, recently in, in Kuala Lumpur last year in Malaysia, and um, it is absolutely stunning. Really great food, great people, uh, very, very modern facilities that you have in the city. And then as you sort of come out of the city, coming back to the ship, you can see the contrast, the styles of culture. So uh, fantastic. Uh, next day is in Singapore. It's an amazing place. It's great. Yeah. Isn't it? You were in there for the day, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, you can see the shot here of, of the Marina Bay Sands. It's actually modelled on a cruise ship. You've got the Opera House, you've got the Singapore Flyer to the left-hand side, and this is a shot of what they call um, the Gardens by the Bay. And you've, oh, you've got raffles as well, so you can have a Singapore sling and have some monkey nuts. They literally bring a little um, hessian uh, bag of monkey nuts, and you have to crack them and throw them on the floor, and you sort of like crunch your way out of them. It's, it's a bit of a tradition, but lovely day in Singapore. Then I think you need a relaxing day at sea. <laughs> I think you should have a relaxing day at sea, enjoy the facilities on board, and also, the next day is nice and relaxed. Koh Samui is, well, it's Thailand's second most popular island destination. And this is just bliss. Look at that. Now, um, I, I, I like, I, we're in um, Lang Shabang next um, to see Where? Bangkok. Lang yes, Shabang. Exactly. But I was, the only thing I was, was going to say is, I, on the cruise I did, I was only there for one day. And it was a bit of a, a bit of a stretch to get to Bangkok and back. It was a little bit yeah. you're, you're there overnight on this one, aren't you? Yeah, and, and the beauty of this is, you know, the fact is that you've got your cruise ship. You can go, do the city, come back, and you can just go ashore into the actual port yeah. itself. Uh, I mean, Bangkok itself has got, again, a great history. 
really colourful nightlife as well. So if you do want to see some of the more exotic um, uh, sides of these places, then it, it is brilliant. You've got the temples of uh, Wat Surat and Watarun as well. You've got some fantastic Buddhist shrines, the Grand Palace. Um, one thing that I'd recommend doing in Bangkok as well is go and see Jim Thompson's house. I didn't actually get a chance to do it while I was there, which, you know, when you go, oh, I wish I'd done it, I went all that way. Uh, Jim Thompson really sort of brought the southeast of Asia really back to the west and made us aware of, you know, the great green Thai curries and stuff like that. Um, so go and see his house. It's actually one of the, uh, the largest um, teak mansions in the world. Oh. So if you know Jim Thompson anyway, uh, then you'll love that. Um, then we're, we're off to Shinaxville, and the beach here is just picturesque. You know, this is really off the Gulf of Thailand now, and this is where you can do your scuba diving, your snorkeling, or just laying on the beach and just... just I mean, look yeah. at that. I it's, mean, it's, like <laughs> a, it's like a chocolate coconut... It'd be, be hard advert, not to enjoy it? that, wouldn't it? That's just sort of, it's, well, maybe. So it's even quieting me down. It's like, it's I know, you're taking it in chill. there. You wish you were um, there, don't you? There, there are actually two temples that you can do if you want to go a little bit further afield. So again, please do ask about some of the overland excursions, not necessarily on this particular tour, um, but or this particular cruise, but there are a lot of tours that you can add in, and uh, we can book that for you to save the hassle when you're getting on the ship. Um, then we're our next day at sea, we've still, we've still got another couple of uh, ports to go through, um, Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, this is, well, formerly known as Saigon. So straight away, um, you know, you've got, again, great culture. Notre Dame Square, the City Hall as well is fantastic. The Sea Goddess Shrine as well, which is uh, definitely one to see. Another relaxing day at sea to break it up, and then we're into Malacca. Now, this, this is the, the historical state. It's the third smallest state of Malaysia. And uh, there's some great history here. There's actually a, a Portuguese ship that sank just off the coast um, and has actually been brought back up and was in display in one of the, uh, the squares. I remember getting a, a photo there, but um, you just love the little tuk-tuks and just getting out there. Jonker Street's good for your art and crafts. So Jonker Street is the one to go to to get your little trinkets to bring back. And, uh, and then at the end of this, you're going back to Langkawi and um, uh, heading back to the just UK. Just thinking about lead date, what a great time to get away. You know, what a great but way just to start 2019. Literally, look at that map, oh. and if you were going to literally put pinpoints on, well, oh, I want to go here, want to go there, it is, what a wonderful itinerary. And what is so lovely, the price on the screen really is all you'll pay, because you've mm. got all your drinks, all of your tips, all your foods obviously included, all your great entertainment with Morella. Um, but again, we think that was going to be really busy tonight. It's adult only as well, and... Uh, All you inclusive. have got there, uh, don't forget, uh, a free Amazon Echo Dot if you book that by the end of May. As I mentioned, just adult only, all-inclusive, return flights from Gatwick, but look at this, we've also got flights available from Birmingham and uh, Manchester just for uh, supplements there as well. Price-wise, the lead date there is the 2nd of Jan, and that price starts at just 1699 but there's a big variety of dates throughout uh, January and February. The ID number for this one, by the way, is 160349. We've already got some sellouts happening, and the single price is really good on that as well. But we've got so much to get through tonight. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's the best show we've had this year, I reckon. I really yeah. do. Now, Cunard and X, Queen Elizabeth, five star. Yeah. You would never expect to see that price for five star, would you? No, well, no not, not with Cunard. I mean, no, again, I we've, mean, we've gone from sort of like, you know, great entry level cruises with a great destination. This is just a classic itinerary. But we are talking about, you know, one of the cruise lines that really set the standard. And it's very rare that you hear us talk about, uh, you know, first class or second class, but Cunard still has that. And I love that feel because yeah. I hate to say, you know, a lot of people get embarrassed about talking about, oh, are you first class passenger? Are you second class? Oh, Queen's Grill. And you think about, you know, you go to an airport and, you know, or you get lounge access. That's exactly the same. It's privileges that you pay for. And this ship, again, she's actually on um, uh, the same sort of, uh, I want to say chassis, but it's the same sort of uh, platform as one of the ships that I spent uh, my last few years at sea on. She's great, great size. And it's all, I, I was actually on the ship for just a mini cruise um, a couple of years ago. And, I, you know, just that white glove service, the afternoon tea, yeah. the, oh, it's just it's, amazing. It's the good old days of Hollywood glamour and excellence. Yes. That's, that's what and, really encapsulates And a nice it. bit of dressing up, beautiful Chandeliers, food. marble flooring. I mean, it is. It, it is outstanding. Um, now, uh, this, uh, this cruise starts from Southampton. It yep. does visit Madeira. And oh, yes. 
Actually, got... sorry, have we got the, the, the yes. picture? Yes. Because, yeah, so you've got three days at sea. Now, this, a couple of weeks ago, I just randomly mentioned, I said, anybody that's been on the wicker basket run in Madeira, send a picture and we'll get it on the TV. There uh -huh. it is. I do not disappoint. It is Ian <laughs> Jeanette. This is, I mean, look, Ian's having a great time. He's got his thumbs up. What this is, is you go up the cable car and then you can come back down on one of these traditional wicker baskets. And these are the guys from Madeira that literally guide you down. And they don't just, like, chuck you down the street. They guide you yeah, down. Now, and now run I've seen the picture, I actually, I, I'm actually a bit more confident about doing it. <laughs> yeah, I always thought the baskets, I imagine these tiny little baskets. No, like it's like a sofa. Oh, I, I didn't realise. It's great fun. Yeah, it's the thing you've got to do. Apart from that, you've got to go and perhaps go and taste some of the Madeira wine, go and see the birds of paradise, flowers in the, in the flower market. Um, and get, just go and see some of the hotels. They're, they're really fantastic. But anyway, that's what the wicker basket that he yeah. always talks about. And, yeah, and can like. I just say, if Ian and Jeanette are watching tonight, thank you very much yes, for sending thank you. that in because it's nice to know that somebody's watching apart from your mum. <laughs> see, I'm nine. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's take you on board the beautiful Queen Elizabeth. She's the third Cunard ship to bear her name, and bigger and more beautiful than any of her predecessors. The Queen Elizabeth was launched by Her Majesty the Queen in 2010 and continues to win thousands of fans for our understated elegance, spacious luxury and excellent service. Serving over 20,000 meals each day, Queen Elizabeth's talented culinary team of over 100 chefs cater to all tastes and dietary requirements. Fresh and exquisitely seasoned dishes are served in all of the six dining locations. So whether it's a meal with friends in the Britannia or a freshly baked pizza in the Lido, your taste buds are going to enjoy the holiday as much as you do. Kickstart your day with some relaxing yoga in the gym, followed by a visit to the Royal Spa for a quick dip and a spot of pamper. There's literally hundreds of treatments to choose from. After a spot of afternoon tea, maybe you'll take a stroll around the Royal Arcade full of stylish souvenirs and big design names at low prices. Or you could pop up on deck for a game of croquet in the sunshine. There's seven different bars to choose from, all featuring live music. So whatever your mood or tipple, you're going to find the perfect home away from home. Cocktail fans will flock to the panoramic views of the Commodore Club. And for those who want to dance the night away, there's even the wonderful disco. But for me, it's all about quenching your thirst for a freshly pulled pint here in the legendary Golden Lion Pub. It may be night time that most sets the Queen Elizabeth experience apart from other ships. You can enjoy a magical night in the Royal Court Theatre. The comedians, stars of the West End and fabulous shows can be viewed from the privacy of your own theatre box. Then why not turn back the time and attend a dazzling themed ball in the Queen's Room with a live band, gentlemen dance hosts and stunning performances from the ball instructors. Whether you want a sumptuous suite or a room with a view, this ship offers it all. There are seven grades of accommodation to choose from, and all of it is spacious, bright and stylish, including these brand new single staterooms with massive windows and even bigger TVs. But whatever you choose, every stateroom is full of little touches designed to make you feel instantly at home. The personal stew will keep everything clean and tidy, the CD Cunard and mattress will keep you sleeping like a baby, <laughs> and the free 24-hour room service will keep you wishing you had more willpower. There's our keys. Showing a bit of leg in that dressing gown. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, and he hadn't even waxed. Anyway, um, um, now um, this is a, it's a wonderful cruise. We're, we're setting out of Southampton. We've got three days at sea to enjoy yeah. that beautiful ship. Yeah, and, and, and Madeira, apart from the wicker basket run, you know, it is a wonderful place. Uh, but on to our next port of call, and uh, we're off to La Palma. And uh, now La Palma is actually known as. Uh, La Isla Bon Verde, which is the beautiful green island. Um, this this uh, particular um, well-known handicraft, which is the glass-blown trinkets that you can get in the market. So perhaps if you've actually been to the Canaries, you know, all those years ago, you remember bringing them back for the kids, then uh, you'll remember that. There's also a random memory. I just well, remembered. I was doing all this, all the preparation for earlier. There was, there was a, a, an old chap that used to sit in the street rolling cigars. And I'm not promoting the, the use of tobacco, but he had this little picture, and he, he, there was a picture of him with with um, a very well-known cigar-smoking um, former politician, Winston Churchill. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, oh. He reckoned that he used to roll the cigars for Winston Churchill. I don't think he, he didn't look old enough, but, uh, but there we go. Just random memory, as you have. Um, anyway, then we're off to Gran Canaria. Now, Gran Canaria, um, Canaria even, is um, it's just beautiful. I mean, you have got, I, I never say guaranteed, but you've got probably the best chance of getting sunshine here. Um, you've got wonderful, this is actually just where the, the ship docks. Uh, you can go in, you can wander into the town, um, you can get a bike and go along the coastline, you can head into the centre where you've got the, uh, the old volcanic crater 
as well. Lovely beaches here as well. And if you want to do something a little bit more intellectual, then you can go to the Christopher Columbus Museum as well. So if you fancy, uh, fancy doing that. Then we're off to Lanzarote. Lanzarote is a contrast because the landscape is so dramatic. It quite literally looks like the face of Mars. Um, yeah, so it does you can, right. yeah, yeah, it does a bit, yeah. Well, they, they used to film all the, the old 70s science fiction films, like, you know, Planet of the Apes. Uh, stuff like that. I used to film it over in um, in uh, Lanzarote. Um, one thing that's really cool to go and see there is the um, Caesar Manrique um, uh, little lagoon. So there's a lagoon. It's actually here you go. There you go. Um, it, it's, it's an underground lagoon that you can go down. There's a little uh, bar and restaurant down at the end. Um, then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Lisbon. Um, we just talked about Lisbon. Places. No, because Roy Walker was on the uh, the video just at the VT earlier on, and you dock just underneath here. And the reason why I said about Roy Walker was one of the last times I actually saw him, we actually went, wandered up and had a coffee and a little bite to eat um, up in there. Not, not that I name drop, you know, just, just if you can catch that for me. <laughs> uh, but go, go on the trams, go down to the Belem Tower and the Monument of Discoveries as well. There you go, the Torre de Belem, uh, which it looks, always reminds me of a little um, chess piece. Um, Going to get some photos there, but uh, a lovely, lovely place to be. Then we've got a nice, li nice relaxing couple of days at sea before we come back to Southampton. Uh, you know, you know, great, you know, five-star luxury oh, that you've got here. Queen Elizabeth, you've got great facilities, a pound deposit as well per person. It's just that, a wonderful offer. I mean, we don't have QNAD on that often on the no, show. When we no. do, it's an amazing deal. And, and tonight is the night to put this on. Just thinking, you're going to get some great winter sun in December, aren't you? Mm. So it is an exclusive Planet Cruise, uh, just a pound deposit tonight. I would definitely upgrade to an outside because we're doing that tonight from under four pounds per person per night. Uh, the Amazon Echo Dot, you will get that on a balcony and above uh, if you book that in the next few days. And you're actually on board 12 nights. I mean, did you work out what that is per night, just at least? Yeah, 149. Uh, sorry, no, I'm looking at the next deal. Sorry, hang on. Uh, Leave, was, come, come back to me. It's 70, like se 72 pounds per I person. Mean, 72 pounds per person. I mean, amazing for five star luxury with mm. QNAB. White glove service. You'll love the, you know, the entertainment, the food, the service, the afternoon teas. And the idea number for that one is 124447. That is amazing, seriously. But um, our luxury month with Luxury Corner is coming to an end. You've got a couple of days yeah. to get that £100 cash back. And we are very excited about this next offer. It's, it's the first time in, in all the time that I've been on the sofa that I've ever brought to you a Disney cruise. Uh, and this is a great offer, a seven-night Norwegian cruise with Disney. And this is uh, on the Disney Magic. And if you've ever seen these ships in port, you've got oh, the Mickey Mouse yeah. is painting the, uh, the name on the back of the ship. Uh, all the shows are themed towards it. They're the only cruise line to have fireworks at sea. Now that is that is something, and it is you know truly. And, and if you love the entertainment, the Disney shows are fantastic, yeah, as I said, aren't they? All the th all themed Disney shows yeah. as well, and you know everybody thinks about going to Disneyland or going to Euro Disney. Why not do this? If you've always wanted to do a cruise and you love Disney, and this isn't just for the kids. I know we've got the family of four price there. But I know there's some big, big kids as well that would love to go on this. So uh, a great offer, and there's a hundred pounds cash back on that in terms of conditions and, applied. And the standards will be incredible. You can imagine. Yeah, would have been yeah. Disney. So we're really excited about that on 25th of August. Uh, but do give us a call tonight, and you've got to book it before the 31st of May to get that hundred pound cash back. That's, that's <laughs> just awesome, isn't it? It's I just know. awesome. But. It's time for our river cruise, and oh yes! We, now we, yeah. we we have brought this itinerary before. It was a top seller. Yep. Tonight, wow! I'm just looking at it here. We've actually got on selected dates no single supplement. No supplement, and this is drinks and meals, uh, which are available to pre-book for just 100 pounds, 109 pounds per person, um, which is just great wow. for for river deals as well. And uh, very limited numbers on the cabin on the 28th of October. So if you do want that date, please do make sure that you book early to avoid um, disappointment. And for our, uh, our northern viewers, we've actually got flights from Edinburgh and also the East Midlands. Also, we've got flights from London, Manchester, which is £10 uh, per person supplement. But let's take you on board. Now, this is going to be amazing, this one, isn't it? Yeah, with, with Riviera, it's completely different. I mean, look at this style. Look at the lovely Damask on the, on the, uh, and the Jacquard style. This does not look like a river cruise it ship. It really doesn't. It, and that's, that's the great thing. Now, we're only looking at 169 passengers and 44 crew members. So this is a completely intimate experience where just a few metres from your, your balcony and your, your room, 
is the, the actual shoreside itself. It's got an elegance of days gone by that is just unrivaled. It's, I, look, I mean, look at that oh. lovely Chesterfield button back. I love it. I really do love um, it. I don't think it gets better than this. I'm just looking at the prices, actually. Mm. Fair, you know, the sweet stuff. But where are you going? I know. Now? Well, we'll actually, yeah, let's have a little look. I think it's fair to say this is probably the most popular item we've done on a yeah. cruise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, so you're actually flying out to Budapest, and we're going to come to Budapest a little bit later on. Your first port of call, though, is Estegom. Now, where you're actually going to be going, you're, this is one of Hungary's oldest towns, and it's famous for you. can see the basilica there, um, beautiful neoclassical buildings, uh, and this is uh, also fantastic because a lot of the key buildings, there's, sorry, there's the basilica, a little bit better, you can see it standing on the Danube. So as you're sailing in, you'll be able to see this from your, your room. And it just really doesn't get much better than this. Um, you're going to be waking up, and as, enjoy, as you enjoy your first lunch on board, um, you're actually then going to be sailing on down the river to your next port of call, which is Bratislava. Now, this is where you get a guided tour included. And I do have to point this out, that one of the things with Riviera, you get these, these tours included. Um, Bratislava, it's one of Slav Slovakia's fastest emerging uh, cities. So you've got the contrast of the, uh, sort of the, the uh, communist era, but then you've also got the, the medieval culture as well. It's just, some of the buildings are just beautiful. I mean, look at the square that you've got there, the fountain. It's just stunning. Then you're back on board for lunch, and you're going to be cruising down to Lower Austria for the afternoon. And this is where you get some of the best wines in this particular region. Um, the next uh, port of call is Dernstein and Melk. And this is, again, where you get another guided tour. And you've got a little bit of a choice here. So uh, Dernstein is actually known principally for two things. First of all, for the ice blue tower of the abbey, which, uh, which dominates the view. And also the castle as well. If you know your history, Richard the Lionheart was imprisoned here. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of history. After lunch, you get a chance to visit the Abbey as well. So if you want to go to the Abbey. And um, the actual uh, castle in this, this area was actually gifted to a Benedictine order back in the 11th century. So plenty of, of culture there. And again, guided tour included on that day. Then we are off to Linz and Salzburg. Now, this is, again, a choice of what you get to do. You can either uh, take a guided walking tour around the city, so you get to see um, uh, all of the local sights and sounds, or you can drive on into Salzburg, so you get a coach into Salzburg. Uh, you've got the Hellbrunn Palace, uh, which is just fantastic. Um, also, uh, the Mirabel Palace as well, one for, for the uh, horticultural uh, fans, oh, which if you well, think like that, then, yeah, yeah, no, the Mir Mirabel Pass. Um, also, you get chance to see all of the, uh, the the local sites, which is associated with one of the most famous residents. I'm talking. I don't know whether you can hear that wonderful Viennese horse in the background. It's not quite Mozart, but this is, of course, uh, the birthplace of Mozart. Wolfgang Amadeus. Um, then we're off to Vienna, and this is where you get another fantastic guided tour included. And this is really one of the highlights of the cruise because, I mean, whether you're in a little coffee house enjoying a lovely, delicious slice of sucker tort, you know, sucker torts? It's a, <laughs> Sean's just shaking his head going, I don't know what that is. Oh, no, you I don't love it. What is it's, it? This is a chocolate cake that's so sticky, you have to suck it off of your teeth. It's like, oh, it's right, so that, rich. Ooh, I absolutely love nice. it. Every time I go to this part, I have to have some. Um, but you've got, I mean, this really, at it, in its day, was the powerhouse of Europe. This is where everything was. This is was a cultural centerpiece. So you had uh, your galleries, your aristocratic places, your churches, um, really reflected its imperial status. Um, one of the things, St. Stephen's Church and St. Uh, Charles's as well. Um, also the Hofburg. Uh, which is now uh, home to a collection of museums, the Crown Jewels and the Spanish Riding School, the Imperial Apartments, um, which uh, includes some of the collections of the holy relics of the Roman Empire. Um, and there's also a museum here which has the world's fourth largest collection of paintings. There's the Schubraun Palace as well, easy for me to say after me sacked all. Um, <laughs> and uh, of course, the whole of Vienna is just alive with the sound of Beethoven, Brahms, Mozart and all the Strausses put together. I say it's going to be wonderful. This one. I'm not saying I've never been to Vienna, uh, and then Budapest at the end, isn't it? Yeah. I, well, they actually have a. Well, you can see one of the bridges here. The, the actual evening before you get into Budapest, you actually have a classical recital on board. So if you do oh, like your lovely. classical music, but oh, Budapest, you got Buda and then you got Pest, 
Um, you've got the old Jewish quarter as well. Um, there's the Hungarian parliament. I think it's about the fourth largest parliament in the world. Uh, and a lovely um, uh, commemoration down there with bronze shoes. So all I'm going to say, if you've been there before, you know exactly what it is. If, if you're going to go on this cruise, please do go down because it's quite moving. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you disembark and you're transferred to the airport and flown back to mm. London. Now, we, um, I, I cannot emphasise enough, we've got exclusive pricing tonight, so we're only talking about a pound per person deposit. Um, now, single cabins, they are limited, and there is no single supplement on selected single cabins. So, please, all of our solo passengers, do get on the phone lines as soon as you can for the single cabs because mm. they will go tonight. Uh, excursions are just to mention at every port. Return flights from Edinburgh and the East Midlands, but we've also got flights from London and Manchester from just £10 per person supplement. And the ships differ uh, slightly depending on a departure date. Price-wise, we've got amazing exclusive pricing, don't forget, uh, starting uh, there on uh, the 28th of October at just £1,049 per person. You've noticed there uh, no extra on the single prices for many of those dates as well. And if you can stretch it, look at the French balcony prices and the superior suites as well. ID number for this one, by the way, is 173369. I was enjoying that music. I know. It's quite nice. But we've still got... Three more. We have got three. Um, is, it, is, it, is this the next one, the quick one? Uh, no. No? <laughs> All right, OK. It's a 15-night celebrity. <laughs> it's a really good one. J just let me know it's won the quick one. Just prog me and just say you've got 30 seconds. <laughs> no, this isn't quick. It's 50 nights. Uh, but we have got an amazing price and we've got the free drinks package yeah. uh, on Ocean View and Above and onboard credit of $300 as well. But let's take you on board and talk you through the celebrity uh, constellation. Uh, as many of you know, I've, I've cruised with celebrity eight times now um I, I just think they are outstanding yeah, well i mean you, exactly i mean you've just been back again and again and again uh, apart from the the, the fantastic award-winning kenya ranch spa the the fantastic restaurants as well uh and, and of course the bars i mean let's there's so many um, which, which which is your favorite bar on board is it the martini sushi uh, no, martini slush bar the ice bar oh, at all do you know i love cellar masters no? I love them all. He, he loves them all. <laughs> <laughs> I've spent, I, I've spent uh, days of my life in those bars. But, I, but I, jokes apart, I love everything about Celebrity. Um, they, I love the design of the ships. I love the It's the, just the mo modern luxury, yeah. isn't it? It's that, that's it's their cash line. You can't fault it. You really can't. Uh, now, we've got, oh, very important mm. on this one. We have got return flights from London, Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester, yep. Glasgow, yep. Birmingham. Yep. No extra supplement tonight, so a massive selection of flights as well. But anyway, uh, actually, I've never done this itinerary. I'd love to. Oh, sorry, just let, me, let me take you uh, on a yes. trip of, of, of enlightenment and discovery. We're going over to Dubai. Now, you, have, you know, you've done Dubai. No, I've only been to the airport. What? Which was amazing. <laughs> no, no, you need to get out of the airport. I know. Honestly, the first time I went there was last year, actually, not while I was cruising. You said it was great, didn't you? Oh, the Burj Khalifa, definitely worth going and seeing. And again, you are in overnight here. Um, you can go and see the Palm Island, go and see Atlantis down at the bottom, get, you, get yourself a little photo outside of there. If you want to head out into the desert, do perhaps a Jeep, uh, Jeep safari. But the shopping is insane. It's just bonkers. It's like you walk in and they're shopping malls. I think th there was one, one mall not far from the, the Burj Khalifa and it's got the world's largest, largest fish tank. I'm not, I'm not talking the 300 litre tank that you have in your front living room. I'm talking thousands of gallons. Uh, there's a light show every night down there. Every, I think it's about every 15, 20 minutes, the different pieces of music. Um, it Does really it is remarkable. Does it remind you of Vegas at all? In no, a, in do a you know what? Way or not, I think when, when Dubai was originally built, they sort of build it as the city of the future, and it really does capture that. Because there is, for those of you that have got perhaps friends that, you know, expats that have lived out there, it is quite unique. It's, it's something that you almost feel as if you're on a film set. Everything's so clean, so tidy, so futuristic, so well designed. And it's still being built and grown and grown and grown. It and there is literally everything though. Isn't yeah, there? everything and anything. It's wow. it's it really is great. Um, after after Dubai, the, the couple of days that you have there, you can have a couple of days at sea. And this is where it gets really. I'm, I'm going to say unusual because it really is unusual to have this sort of um, contrast within the cruise because we're going completely different. We are going back to India, and again. For those of you that know the cruise lines, there's a big Indian culture on board because of the staff. 
Um, they, you will love it and they will love suggesting all the places. So it's almost as if my job's done because you just have to go on board and speak to your cabbage student and say, where, we, where would you recommend? And, he'll, and they're, they're, they are so proud of their, their, their homeland. Um, so it is fantastic. So yeah, you're going into Cochin, um, real sort of Portuguese vibe here. Um, uh, all the spice markets, really, really great, and the fishing as well. Then we're off to Mangalore, um, uh, and this, again, this has got one of those feels that is just unique. A little bit like Malaysia, like we were talking earlier on. You've got so much historical culture there, great beaches, lovely buildings. There's, there's something for everybody in here. Now, the next port of call is just beaches. Beaches, 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 Goa. I've got a friend of the family that goes about three or four times a year, and he absolutely loves it. He says the people are some of the most just humble, lovely, lovely people ever, and the beaches are just breathtaking, and it's just brilliant. Um, then we're into Mumbai, contrasting. We're going from beach, chilled out, to just full-on attack ascent. I've never been to this port of call. Well, sorry, docked, never got off, and I was gutted. You've got the Batu Caves, which is definitely worth... Uh, going to see the Queen's Necklace there, which is around the uh, the actual harbour side. Um, you've, of course, have got um, a great history. Uh, you've got Mahatma Gandhi as well, which helped the actual country through the 40s. Um, you've got the, the Gandhi Museum there, which uh, definitely wants to go and see the Taj Mahal Palace. Um, there is just so much. And all I will say is the sail away from Mumbai is unbelievable. The amount of families that come down to see their, uh, their families leave on the ships. It's just unbelievable, unbelievable. Nice couple of days at sea, and then we're going back uh, across um, to Muscat. We're actually going to Oman now. And uh, this real complete contrast of culture, you've got the fantastic gardens down there and the Grand Mosque. Um, you've also got the Cornish and Matra. You've got some great souks as well. So if you want to go and have a barter and buy a carpet, um, then you can do. Um, just, just think about how you're going to get it back. Everybody always does that. They go, oh, I'm going to buy a carpet. <laughs> remember the advert where he's bought it with that, that fancy credit card? And then, yeah, anyway, yeah. always remember that. Then we're back into Abu Dhabi. Uh, we're sorry, back in. We're going into Abu Dhabi. Now, even though Abu Dhabi and Dubai, they're only probably about 45 minutes drive apart, complete contrast. It's more of a, a sort of a classical um, style that you've got there. And, uh, you know, again, great mosques if you want to go and do that. Great malls, great shopping. And for those of you who like something a little bit faster, you've got Ferrari World. It's got the world's fastest roller coaster. So, uh, yeah, really is something for everybody there. And then you're going to be disembarking, flying back to London, and that wraps up. Uh, fantastic brand, celebrity, unrivaled. I know you've been you've been a oh, lot look. and a great deal. Um, honestly, I I think this again is one of the the best deals we've ever had with celebrity five star model luxury. Um, and and it's got everything. You've got the regional flights, you've got the pound deposit. So let's just remind you of everything that is included tonight. Now it's an exclusive, which means deposits from only a pound per person. Um, Oh, good. You'll also get the free Amazon Echo Dot if you book by the 31st of May. A free classic drinks package. That's my favourite drinks package, as many of you know. And $300 on one spend. And that's on Ocean View and above. And look at this. Um, this is for everybody. Return flights from London, Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester, Glasgow, Birmingham, at no extra supplements. And there's great overnights on board in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Um, again, we think this is going to go really fast tonight. The ID number there is 132479. Now, we've got uh, a quick deal coming up next with Costa Cruises, uh, under £700 for 10 nights. Yeah. Um, so, you're looking at £70 per person. I can do the math on that one. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Very but, good. Br brilliant itinerary, great price. Should we just crack on with it? Straight well, in. Yeah, well, let's yeah. talk you Ta through. Take a look at the ship here. I mean, Costa themselves, you know, they are a very well-known, highly regarded cruise line. Great facilities on board. Um, you've actually got five restaurants in particular on the uh, Favelosa, and um, you've got um, uh, 13 bars. You've got a cognac and cigar bar, coffee, chocolate bar, the full work, 4D theatre, 18 hole golf course as well on a simulator. <laughs> I loved your face <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, I was. It's like, I was. Like, yeah. It's a simulator. Okay. Um, there's also a Grand Prix race uh, uh, car driving simulator as well, <laughs> PlayStation World. And uh, the Samsara Spa as well. So there's uh, something Ooh. for everybody 
as well. I've heard the and spa's the shows, really good on actually. Yeah. The spa's amazing. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I, the, sh the shows on Costa really I'm, extravagant. I mean, flat. look at this. I mean, you're going to get great weather as well um, in October, and we're talking about, as Justin said, £70 per person per night. So. Uh, let's talk you through where are we flying to. Uh, flying out to Savona, and then uh, first port of call is Marseille. Fantastic, really romantic place. Lovely, lovely to have lunch. Uh, then we're off to Malaga, which really encaptures the Spanish Andalusian uh, flair. Um, so home to Picasso and Antonio Banderas. Of course, didn't you know? Then we're off to Seville. We're off to Cadiz, and uh, you've got the Alcazar fort fortress here. Um, you've got some of the Sherry Bodegas as well, and Jerez, if you want to go a little bit further afield. Um, then Lisbon, we touched on this earlier on, but you get in this overnight in Lisbon. Oh, yes, you are, yeah. I'm telling you now, there's a good nightlife in Lisbon. My other half went there for a, a weekend with her family, and I'm gutted I didn't get a chance to go. Then we're off to Valencia, and uh, I mean, you've got the old quarter of the town, um, which get, dates back to the Middle Ages. You've got, if you want to go a little bit further afield, there's the, natural, um, uh, the National Park. Um, yeah, that's two completely different things. Don't get them confused. Um, and then also, if you like your sculptures, then you've got the Ladro Museum there as well. So if you like collecting bits and pieces. Then one of my favourite ports of call. We haven't had Barcelona for a while, have we? No, look, there's the beaches in Barcelona. It was only put in for the Olympics, 1992, remember? I remember you said, Barcelona, yeah. what a beautiful horizon. Barcelona. Oh, God. <coughs> Sorry about that. Everybody at home, if they're watching now, the cats and the dogs have just gone crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, Barcelona, mm. absolutely beautiful. But that, for £70 per night per person, on a ship packed full of activities and, um, and facilities, that is brilliant. Um, I'll tell you what I'm really pleased to announce as well, you know what it is. Uh, you've got uh, drinks with meals from just £10 per person per night. And you can go all inclusive on this for as little as twenty pounds per person per night. So they're really affordable drinks price uh, prices there. And uh, the prices that lead date is the twenty second of October. And so you should still be getting some great temperatures there. Yeah. ID number on this one is one four three eight seven three. Now our final crew. Oh, what actually did we say? We think this is the best show yeah. we've had this year. Um, I know things are going to sell fast tonight, so please get on the phone lines tonight. We're open until 10.30. Yes, certainly are. First thing tomorrow morning, but and things will go quickly tonight. Sorry to remind you, but remember, a lot of these deals tonight, they end on the 31st of May. So with limited availability yeah. on some cabins, it really is worth putting that pound deposit down, which we've got on a lot of the deals. Get the pound deposit down, and yeah. then at least it's booked before but the end of the do month. Do do it. I know we yeah. say we we we, we are. So I was serious there for a second. Didn't yeah, you I? did. Yes. What's Not like me. <laughs> but we're finishing with an yes. itinerary that we've, we've never had this itinerary. Have we? Iceland. Yeah. Do you realise? I think I only did, ever did two cruises up to Iceland, and some this I'd have loved this this itinerary. I'm telling you now. Well, as we cruise the Maritime, it's under seven hundred and eighty pounds. Let's have a little look. Uh, what life's going to be like on board. Named after the famous Portuguese explorer, Cruise and Maritime Voyages flagship Magellan is reputed to be the friendliest ship afloat. Sailing with just 1,250 passengers, she offers a very real sense of intimacy and a warm, personalised service in a stylish, British, adult-only environment. There are 15 grades of accommodation to choose from and all come with the real star of the ship, your own cabin steward. There's something for every budget, from comfortable inside cabins to luxurious suites, which feature generous balconies, walk-in wardrobes, and something everybody needs, your own jacuzzi bar. Cruise and Maritime Voyages really do encourage and welcome solo travellers. And on board Magellan, 150 cabins have been set aside for guests wishing to travel independently. The aptly named Jade Wellness Centre offers you a chance to de-stress and relax. There are hundreds of treatments to choose from, including shiatsu, caviar facials, and mineral mud wraps. There are three restaurants on board and all the food is freshly prepared and served with a smile. The Waldorf and Kensington are way to serve and offer scrumptious five course meals with tasty salads, hearty pastas, fresh seafood and traditional roasts on offer. Night times are awash with variety. You can relax in one of the bars and enjoy some light jazz or maybe a classical recital or head through to the theatre for some fabulous production shows, courtesy of the Onboard Theatre Company. There are six different bars to experience with a staggering choice of beverages, brightly coloured cocktails, award-winning beers and owls, wines from around the world, and of course, plenty of bubbly. My favourite, though, is here in Sinatra's. 
wearing honor roll, blue eyes himself. I always get the drink made my way. Cheers. Exactly. Loving that. He was in Sinatra's then, just in case you didn't get the link at the end. Um, <laughs> oh, he's good, isn't he? Oh, oh, he's good. Oh, Glenn. He's on the phone tonight. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, we'd we better crack on with this. Uh, we're actually cruising out of Liverpool and we're yeah. stopping at Dublin, aren't we? Yeah, first, first walk. I've never been. Never been to Dublin. Uh, again, one of these ports where I dot, never got a chance you know, to go to shore. I, I, I haven't either. I'd love to go to the Guinness uh, factory and go there to see the history there. Also, Dublin Castle as well. Trinity College. There's plenty to see and do here. And I've been told that there's, there's, a, there's a real good crack to be had, as they say, um, in Dublin. Lots of live music. Um, then, uh, relaxing there at sea. And then we're going over to the Orkney Islands, uh, which is part of, uh, obviously, Scotland. And the Ring of Brodgar. I love that. I, I, have I, I said that? Said Brodgar. That. I don't know, but it's, no, it's really got, because bear in mind, this is World Heritage Site. Lovely for those of you that are ornithologists. Because if you love your bird watching, there's plenty of different birds here. Um, and the, yeah, the Ring of Brodgar is a 5,000 year old uh, Neolithic village. So um, if you love your sort of Stonehenge and your Avebury and all stuff like that, then you'll love this. Then we're off. Are you ready? Are we I, ready? I tell you what, you try and pronounce it, and then I'll tell you how I've, I've, I've pronounced it. No, we haven't got time, just in. Torshavn. <laughs> to Torshavn. Faroe Islands. So it's a Danish state. Um, here, I mean, it just you've got to get either one of their sweaters uh, or sheepskin rugs because they are absolutely fantastic here. They also love their wood and silver uh, trinkets. So uh, plenty. It's actually the world's smallest capital, this. Did you realise? The world's smallest that. capital. There you go. Then we're off to Sedisfjordid. Sedisfjordid. Are you ready? Sedisfjordid. Uh, that's how Emma said it. Um, anyway, um, this is quite remarkable because when you actually look at the landscape, you think, okay, it's quite remote. It's the town which was the first entry point of Iceland's undersea uh, telegraph system. So, yeah, remarkable, isn't it, wow. that you see that? Beautiful landscape. You've got a technical museum here, which has also got the, uh, the world's first uh, telegraph, or oh, sorry, Island, um, Iceland's first um, telegraph station. The hydro plant is one to go and see, which ho holds the, uh, the oldest um, AC plant uh, and electric uh, utilities in the region. So, uh, and great for bird watching as well. There's about 40 different species of bird that migrate there during the summer. Then we're off to a curiuri. A curiuri. Get it? Curiary. Um, some lovely waterfalls here. It's actually the second largest city in Iceland, and it's gateway to uh, northern Iceland's geothermal phenomena. So you've got um, your, your bobbling hot pots here, your thermal bars, your craters, uh, lava formations. It's a little bit of a drive away, but definitely worth going to see because the landscape, I mean, it's just, just incredible. Then we're off to our next port of call, the Isajorda. 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 Um, and this is one of the biggest fishing communities that you've actually got in Iceland. And uh, there's a fantastic park here. Um, definitely go and see the park. There's um, a, a lovely archway that's made of some uh, quite unique structures. So uh, go and get a, a, a little um, photo there. Again, talking of birds, this is um, a great place that if you love gully mots and puffins, um, then uh, you can go and see some of those. Then. Our next port is called Reykjavik, and this is where I let everybody go, oh, Reykjavik. Um, I, I think I've done all right with the names. Yeah, I'm not going to have a go at the name of the volcano. So, so this was the only one I could Because that's, <laughs> that's just going a little bit too far. But no, Reykjavik, Blue Lagoon, you've got to go there. It is just remarkable. Look at that. I mean, wow. It's brilliant. Oh, there's also the Gulf Loss, a Gulf Loss waterfall and another geothermal plant as well. So there is some really unique structures they're really cultured in, in uh, Iceland. I'd love a weekend there. Uh, I would love to do that cruise. Um, and it's a last minute deal, which is why we've got such a great price tonight. Let's just remind you of what's included on that one. Um, you are getting set a last minute deal on this one. So it is uh, just 779, that's for 12 nights. That great overnight in Reykjavik there. And it's had only, forgot to mention that, from Liverpool as well. And I would definitely upgrade to an outtake as well as wonderful views from under £13 per person per night. ID number for that one is 139145. Uh, now we, we better, uh, what a show, we better quickly remind you of everything that we've had tonight. Get your teeth in just and here we go. We started off p and I cannot remember when we last had a price like this with P&O. 395 pound deposit tonight um, and 
That's taking you to Rotterdam, Bruges and France from Southampton at 3.95, but it will sell very quickly and just a pound deposit as well. Then it was Morella, wasn't it? Yeah, your two favourite words, all inclusive <laughs> and adult only. Tips are included on this one as well. Real highlights of all of Malaysia and, uh, well, fantastic, you've got Singapore in there as well as Kuala Lumpur. ID number on that one is 160349. Then, uh, what an amazing offer with five-star Cunard, the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, winter sun, this one. Get away in, in December, get a lovely tan, get some warmth. And again, just a pound deposit tonight. Uh, exclusive there, 859. Actually, go for the outside because that's only another four pounds per person per night. And don't forget, if you book before the 31st of May, you will get the free Amazon Echo Dot on balcony and above on that one. Uh, then we had... Riviera, the first we time did. we've actually had this one on a £1 deposit, but remember, that ends on the 31st of May, so get and book that nice and early. Uh, there's no single supplement on this one. Excursions are included are in every port as well, and flights are also available from London and Manchester, just from £10 per person um, on that. Wow, and as just, as just said, no single supplement on uh, selected single cabins on that one. Then we had... The amazing deal from Celebrity, uh, five-star model luxury, 15 nights on this one. I would definitely upgrade to an ocean view and above because you'll get a free classic drinks package. That's worth a fortune for, uh, for that length of cruise and $300 on board spend as well. And uh, don't forget, this is for everybody. Uh, flights, Gatwick, Heathrow, Manchester, Glasgow or Birmingham, no extra supplements. It was Costa, wasn't it? Yeah, France, Spain and Portugal. And for £70 per night, that's an absolute bargain. ID number 143873. And then finally, last but by no means least, we had um, a last-minute deal with Cruise and Maritime and Bob McGillan. A 12-night Iceland and Northern Isles from Liverpool. And this is just 779 tonight. A last-minute exclusive offer. Apparently that works out under £65 per person tonight. It is adult only as well, and it, it's a no-fly cruise from Liverpool. And don't forget that amazing Disney offer we had as well. Yes, yeah, Disney offer. First time that we've ever brought that to you. So pick up the phone and ask about that right now. Just a well done with your pronunciations tonight. Yes. I thought they were very good. I see if you are It's worked all week on them. Give them a clap at home. <laughs> are you with them the next week? No, I'm not going to see you for a few weeks. I think it's actually the 12th of June that I'm going to see no. you. No. Yeah. And I've got my so. cruise on the 13th, so I'll see you on the 12th. There you go. It's That's not bad. Great to, take it. Great to see you as great well. Great to see you as well. <laughs> um, but I'll be here next week with Glenn, of course, so tune in. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.